<clears throat> hey, what is up, y'all? Welcome to Lunchtime here with Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx, and thank you, filler. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by, well, the eventual winner of the game. Jess. All right. Hopefully you guys are having a great, what is today? Thursday. All right. Hopefully you guys are having a great Thursday. I'm looking forward to this one. This one showed up uh, yesterday, I think it was. Uh, so today we are bringing y'all Renature, uh, designed by Wolfgang Kramer, Michael Kiesling, or Kramer and Kiesling as they are known, uh, and published by Capstone Games, as well as published by Deep Print Games. Uh, Capstone also kindly provided us with this review copy of the game. It's a pre-production copy, I guess, uh, as well as sponsored to play through so thanks to Clay and everybody over at Capstone Games. So welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. Should be a good one. Uh, it's two to four player area control game, tile laying game, domino laying game really is what it is. Uh, yeah, should play in, I don't know, under an hour, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. What's it say on the box? It says... 45 to 60, depending on player count. That feels about right, I think. What do you think? Yeah, that seems right. All right. So if y'all are ready, I'm ready. You ready? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead. I'm going to bring the cameras down for the teach and everything. But as it is, let's go and get into Renature. I keep wanting to call it Renature, but I'm fairly certain that's not how it works. All right. So in a polluted valley... You have set yourselves the task of helping nature reclaim what is hers. Along the course of a brook, you place dominoes with animals on them and replant the adjacent areas to score points. All right. So that's the setting for the game, if you will. So what is it you guys are looking at here? So victory point track. Around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Then over at the top, uh, on the top call it a track, if you will, are the joker spaces that correspond to the various, uh, <laughs> I want to call them suits, but the different animals or creatures that are going to be on the dominoes, as you can see out there. And wherever the marker is will represent wherever the, whichever is the current joker. Then on the main part of the board, you have the brook spaces, which are going to be all of the water spaces going out throughout. And then you're going to have the area spaces, which are basically the dirt areas all through here, out there, around there. Then we have the actual tiles themselves. So to give you guys an idea, there are going to be a total, there are 55 dominoes in total, and there are 10 different animals in the game, and each combination here, or each animal has 10 individual dominoes. So for instance, those are all the squirrel dominoes, just to give you an example there. All right. Then in addition to that, we have our player tableaus. Now on our player tableau here, these technically should all be laid out straight to where it's all one big row. But again, since it's on camera, we kind of split it into two. So what we have here are we have four different types of plants for each player in player color, as well as the neutral color. We have turf or grass in black, which is my player color, and then neutral, which is the, wait for it, neutral player. Then we have, we have bushes there, so six of those, four in the player color, two in the neutral. Then we have pine trees. I'm probably going to interchange pine and fir, because for some reason, fir, it reminds me of a uh, Christmas tree, so fir, Christmas tree. Anyway, and then we have oaks as well. All right. Then up above, we have cloud tokens. Cloud tokens are basically going to allow us to take bonus actions throughout the game. All right. So what is it we're actually trying to do in the game? Well, the goal of the game is to score the most points. So we start with some number of points, uh, either at three or four, depending on who is the first player. Whoever has the most points wins. So how do you get points? Well, you're going to get points by placing plants out here onto the various areas whenever we have played out tiles. Then when an area, a dirt area, gets completely enclosed by dominoes, then we're going to score that area based on the scoring 
that is on each of these little area markers. And then there's going to be some scoring for end game scoring and whoever has the most points wins. Well, how do you play Renature? Well, the game takes place, I'm going to teach this, I should say, as a two player game. It plays equally well at two, three, or four players, but today being a two player game, the game is going to take place over 26 different rounds. We know this because there are 26 dominoes each of us is going to be getting. So on our turn, we're going to be playing one domino per player on your turn. Each turn is broken up into four steps or four phases. Step one, play a domino. So play a domino out there, somewhere out there on the board, or if you cannot or choose not to, you can just throw it out of the game and that's that. That essentially is the end of your turn if you choose the latter option. But as it is, step one, place a domino from your hand onto the game board onto any of the brook spaces out here. Now, a couple of rules for placing. Well, first off, it has to be within the grid. You can't lay it out something along the lines of something like that, nor can you overhang another domino because they don't fit real well that way, anything like that. In addition to that, you cannot go into the area zone, so you cannot cover a brook and a dirt area like so. And last but not least, one of the tenets of this game is you, an animal, when you place a domino, animals must match. So for instance, if I wish to place this domino here, I can do so like that because turtle to turtle, or maybe it's tortoise to tortoise, I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I must place it that way. I cannot place it something along the lines of that because adjacent there, they are not matching animals. That makes sense? Yes. All right. So in addition to all of those rules, there is the wild up at the top. So you see the game, it starts out with the butterfly. It starts out with the butterfly as the wild animal. So what that means is... I can take a domino with a butterfly on it and I can place it orthogonally adjacent to any existing tile out here, something along the lines of like that, even though butterfly and owl obviously do not match, I can break that rule for the simple fact that currently the butterfly is wild. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. All right. So. For placing a domino out there, there are only two places in which you're allowed to lay dominoes. Either orthogonally adjacent, and I should point out everything in this game is orthogonally adjacent. You either place to, next to an existing domino that's already out there on the board, or you may place in one of the four starting spaces. But even when you place in one of the four starting spaces, if you were to do, if this were to build out, so on and so forth, something like that, da 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 da, it's built out. You must place a matching animal next to any domino that you place unless it's currently wild. So in this case, I obviously could place anything next to it, something along the lines of that, because the butterfly is wild. I could also do something along the lines of that. All right. Broken record, you get the point. I'm not going to belabor that anymore. Step one, place a domino out on a brook space, orthogonally adjacent to an existing tile, or in one of the four starting spaces. Step two, if you place the domino, meaning you didn't say, ah, I can't place it or I don't want to, and throwing it out of the game, if you place the domino, you can place one plant onto a free space beside it. So for instance, on my turn, let's say I place this domino right here. So I can then choose any plant that is on my board currently and place it into any orthogonal, orthogonal, adjacent area space. So what are those spaces? That would be this one, this one, or this one. Easy enough. What plant do I choose? Any of them, either in my player color or in the neutral color. If you, whatever, regardless of what you choose to place. So let's say I choose to place that there, a bush there. When you place a plant out on the board, you're going to score one point. Or I'm black, so here, here we go, there we go. I'm gonna place one, when you place a plant, you're going to score one point. Then if, let's say, 
this was already out there, and let's say this were previously already out there. When you place a plant, you score one point for the plant that you just placed, as well as one additional point per plant that has an equal to or lesser level to it. So the levels of the plants, pretty simple. Turf or grass is a level one, a bush is a level two, a fir or pine is three, and an oak is four. So since I just placed a bush out there, which is a level two plant, I would score one point for placing it. I would place one point for the equal, uh, or I would score one point for the equal level plant uh, bush and one point for the turf. So, so instead of scoring just one point, I would have scored three points. Awesome, there we go. Any questions on placing a plant out on the board? No. All right, then we're gonna check for area scoring. What does area scoring mean? If you place a domino out on the board and it completely encloses an area. Now, you might be asking yourself, self, it's not completely enclosed because this diagonal space right there is not covered. Well, everything in this game is orthogonal. So in other words, place it. All four of the sides adjacent to that are now covered. So therefore, we're gonna have an area scoring. Area scoring is really simple. We add up. And you know what, let's go ahead and do this scenario here so I can show you guys that. So I just placed this tile right here and I just placed that plant right there, which I probably wouldn't want to, but let's, let's take a look at that. So we then look at the three different colors. Each color, we're going to add up the total value of plants within that enclosed area. So you'll notice that white so Jess has a two value bush and a one value turf for a total of three. The neutral player has a two value uh, bush and I have a two value bush. So anything that is the same value cancels itself out as if it didn't exist. So in other words, those two don't actually exist there. So really it is three to nothing to nothing. So in that case, Jess is then going to take a look at the area scoring tile and she's going to score both values because she's the only one who actually has plants in that location. So she would score the higher value and the lower value there for a total of six points. But let's say it were that scenario. Well, Jess is in first, I'm in second clearly because she has three to two. She'll score four points, I will score two in that case. Pretty cut and dried. That makes sense? Yep. However, whoever placed the tile that closes off that area is going to take that tile here and put it into their area here. The reason is there is some number, which I'm not going to look at, there's some number there on the back which is going to be hidden scoring for end game scoring as well. All right, easy enough. After that, you refill your hand to, a th to three dominoes. I should have said you start draw, uh, of your 26 dominoes. You start by drawing a hand of three dominoes. So you will have played one or discarded one. You're now at two. You would refill your hand to a third domino and it's the next player's turn. The only other thing that we need to talk about are the cloud actions. Cloud actions are bonus actions that you may take multiple times, as many times or no times and at any time during your turn you can take these bonus actions. So what are the cloud actions? You can discard two clouds out of the game permanently to change the joker to any other joker that you want it to be. Meaning moving from the butterfly to the bat, whatever. And now all the bat spaces are jokers, are wild. So you can place any animal, so on and so forth. What happens to ones that were placed as jokers beforehand? Do those just remain on the board? They, yep, nothing, nothing is retroactive. So for instance, um, indulge me. Let's say I had placed it like this when that was the butterfly joker like so. Then we change it over to, I don't know, we'll go to the tortoise. It's not retroactive. It just stays there. Nothing changes because it's only at the moment when you place the tile. That makes it or the domino. Make sense? Yes. All right. So that costs two clouds to change the joker, and you can do that at any point on your turn, before, during, after, whatever. You can spend three cloud tokens to, at the end of your turn, take another turn. So rinse and repeat steps one through four. Okay. Or 
And this one is easy to forget, but I feel like this is what brings the game to the next level, is depending on the level of plant, you can shoot, you can discard one, two, three, or four clouds to reclaim or return to your area one plant that is already out on the board that is either your color or the neutral player color, provided that you have room on your board to do so. So as you can see, I could pull back one of my own bushes or a neutral colored bush. But if I hadn't placed that bush out on the board yet, and maybe Jess had placed the bush out on the board, I cannot reclaim a neutral bush because I only have space on my board for my player color. And then you can do that even if the area has already been scored and it allows you to manipulate the state of the board with just a few clouds. If you ever build on any of the spaces that have clouds already on them, those are pre-printed on the board, you immediately claim those clouds. You only have space for six clouds on your board, so before you place that plant, I would suggest you spend some or else they are wasted. They just go out of the game immediately. So we continue taking turns, placing 26 tiles each. Then at the end of the game, any areas that still have their area tokens on them, they will score even if they are not surrounded based on, again, the same rules uh, that would normally apply. However, whoever scores the higher value, nothing. These will just go away after they've scored. Nobody gets to claim them afterwards. Then finally, we take a look at everybody's player board. You score one point as shown on each cloud. Uh, you score one point per cloud that you have left over. Then you're going to lose points equal to the value of the plant that is on your board if it's left on your board. Meaning, any turf, you'll lose a point. Any oaks, you'll lose four points. Pretty simple. And finally, we're going to flip over these tokens without looking there. There, we're gonna flip them over, score that many points. Whoever has the most points wins. If tied, whoever has more of these area tokens actually wins the game. If still tied, go plant a tree. All right, that's it. We need to throw all those tiles back Before into the bag. Before you do that, can you come um, on the board here? So there was a question about whether if this can't be filled in. So if there is a square that cannot be filled in, that area does count as completed. Correct. So it says it, because the tiles have two spaces and it would make for an illegal tile lay. So for example, like that, this actually is filled in even though there's that one Correct. space there. Yep. Thanks for the clarification. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get started. Place your bets over under glory to realms two and a half. This needs to go out there. That needs to come back there. Go ahead. I'll let you draw your 26 first. I'll bring the cameras up. Let's Probably get to it. Probably need to put the foxes back in. Or the squirrels. Whatever they are. I hear you, buddy. You want to scramble them up? Hey, what's up, y'all? All right, cool. Uh, what's the hidden point range? That is an excellent question. I do not know. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. one through three. I don't think Uh, one. two through five, it looks like. Wow. They do go high. Check that. One through five. There is one five. Yeah. So, on this 13 tile right here, it is either a three or a five on the back of it. On the two eight-point tiles, they will either have a two or a four on the back of it. The seven-point tiles will have a two or a four. The six is a two or three, two or three for the fives, two or three for the fours, one or three for the threes, and one or twos for the twos. And there are a few of those that are out of the game. So yeah, there we go. Just for uh, to keep things so you can't know everything. Yes, uh, the finisher, uh, the pl person who played the last tile is the one who takes the, uh, the area token. All right, have a good one, Robert. And wait till you guys see the production quality. So I moved the PTZ camera so you guys could see this, uh, the, the 3D 
aspect of the uh, of the tiles a little bit better. So let me draw and we will get started. So talk amongst yourselves. So what is that? That's seven. Ten. There are extra uh, dominoes that are not in the, or that won't be in the game, so that's why I can't just take everything that is left. Ugh. Did I hear it right? Was it raining outside today? Yeah. Okay. Cool. See if we can math. I said 26, right? 2, 4, 6, Just 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 23. Three that seems obvious to me. Good call. There we go. All right. The others are out of the game. All right. There we go. Cool. Um, oh, by the way, the, uh, the start player here is the player who last went for a walk in nature. So I would probably defer to you on that. I mean, I checked out all the down trees across the street. There you go. So, uh, so with that said, Je the first player starts at the four-point mark. The second player goes, let me make sure, yes, they're four, then three, and then two and one, respectively, clockwise around the table. So, and also, you guys are going to be able to play from my perspective. There, there, and we will be switching... There we go. Oh, that was terrible. Let's try that again. There we go. So those are my starting tiles. The uh, butterfly is what starts every game. I suppose you could randomize that, but good luck. All right. Have fun. Hmm. I think we'll go here. And so play a tile, place a plant. Score a point for the plant place. Boom, done. Easy enough. All right. So that is a, uh, is that a raccoon or a trash panda? Wait, that's, no, that's a badger. A, a badger. Sorry, not the raccoon is a trash panda. That's a badger. Is it a honey badger? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. All right. So getting back to our hand of tiles currently. Now, I can start in any of the starting spaces, or I can go to war. Let's go ahead and go to war. So I will place that there. So place a tile. I can place any of my available plants. I will go ahead and place one of mine there. I placed one plant. There are no other plants, so I score one point, please. And we draw back up. Boom, done. There we go. Oh, hey, Clay's here. Hey, what's up, Clay? Brianna, it can get so cutthroat. Totally here for it. it there can be inadvertent nastiness uh, we learned in the last game. I accidentally did something nasty. And one point for Jess for placing the bush on that one. And here, here actually is a good point here that, uh, so even though it is a two value bush, it's still only one plant. So you only, Jess only scores one point for that. Okay. That makes sense. I hope. All right. Yeah. It's the number of plants of equal or higher value, uh, equal or lesser value, right? Right. All right. So our hand here. Well, all right. Our options are limited. Again, we can always go to a start space as well, right? So you know what, though? I think what I will do is I will go ahead and take the double frog. It's Kermit and his cousin. Now, I can only place orthogonally adjacent onto an area that that touches, right? Orthogonally adjacent. So anytime an area marker, just move it out of the way, um, and that's fine. So I will go ahead and place another one there. However, on this one, you'll note, 
that there are now two. So I get one point for placing that one and then equal to or lesser value. So I'm gonna score two points for that bad boy. Jess, if you would be so kind. Thank you. All right, and our tile draw there. All right. Mm. All right, so Jess uh, plays Butterfly. So that's wild. So she's going to score three points because bush and two lower ones. But you'll notice now that it currently is going to be no scoring for that area. The reason there's not going to be any scoring for that area is that three and one point when it gets surrounded. She has a two point bush. I have two one point turfs. Two and two act as if they're not there. Sorry, not just the neutral. Sorry. Uh, so I will score zero points and like it. Thank you very much. We, did we mention this is nasty? This is this isn't appropriate. There's a way to change that though. You should point that out. There, there, there is that I can I can move tie. I can move. You can do a recall by spending clouds I to could. pull back either your own or this, and there's still tile placement. So then, if you placed a tile, you could fill it in. However, I cannot That's a recall. Lot of work. I cannot recall. Uh, the the bush because I don't have space for it because uh, I have board. right so <laughs> you could recall your one I, I could I could that it, it would only take me one cloud actually to do so damn you temptress so I'm hoping you waste your time I know exactly there. right <laughs> yeah so go for it uh, all right so there's our hand again to remind you guys. Uh, and this actually does fit. You just have to move them like that, and then it goes right. There you go. That'll work. Because yeah. um, they're, especially with these little turfs. <clears throat> can they tell their, oh, are we going to use PTZ for the? For the what? So you can see that those are. Oh, yeah, yeah I have been. I have been. Yeah, okay. I will. Um, Let's go and throw the bat out there, throw out the bat signal. I can do so again because the butterfly is wild, right? So, so there's that. I will go ahead and place out I'll go ahead and put out one of my bushes out there. I think so. Yeah, and that'll be uh, that'll be one point because it's the only one there in the area. All right, cool. So one point and redraw. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, all right, so my turn. Our tile that we drew is there, all right. Uh, so we have badgers, bats, snails, and frogs right now. All right. I'll go ahead and throw a snail down. And I'm going to, let me see. Yeah. I'll place, yeah, hold on. Yeah, that's one point. And the reason it's going to be one point, again, because that's worth one, equal to or lesser value. That's a two point, that's a one point, so therefore it's a higher value, so it's one point only for me. Wah, wah, wah. And here, can you, uh, could you peg me my point, please? And there's our tile draw there on the right. All right.
Jess is placing her first, is it pine or fir? Pine. It's pine. All right. Uh, Well, I think I will go ahead and throw Butterfly Still Wild right now. So I will do like so. I think we will go ahead and put one of the bushes on there so it's only going to score me one point even though it's a neutral it's still going to score me one point over here so there because the pine is higher value so it's still only one point I, I could have done that but you got that all right and our draw is the one on the left okay there we go Hmm. All right. And again, Jess is only getting one point because turf is lower than bush, which is lower than pine, so one point won't want. All right. Huh. Uh... Ah, all right. Butterfly is still wild, so I'll place that, which is going to basically block that off for right now. So that's good for me. And I will go ahead and take one of my pines and go ahead and place it onto here. Now, when I do so, though, I'm going to be able to claim this cloud there. So, the problem is, I have six clouds. So I need to spend some clouds right now to do something. And I will go ahead and spend one cloud permanently, and I will go ahead and pull back Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to pull back one of these guys back onto my board. And now I will place that, which will claim me that cloud, and I will place my pine. My pine, will you get me one point, please? And now, remember, you have clouds. You can use them at any point. So I could spend three of them to take another turn right now. But I think it's a little ambitious to, uh, to be spending them that early. So let's go ahead and uh, here we go. Oh, Done. Okay. <sighs> hmm, this is interesting. Yeah, the tiles, they're, I mean, they're, they're solid wood. Um, they're they're lighter wood, but they're they're solid. They they're about the weight you would expect them to be. I think. All right. And yes, the higher point areas are down further away, as well as the bonus clouds. Yes, this is capstone. If you're in the U.S., it's capstone. If you're overseas, it's D Print Games. Um. All right, all right, so fine. So here we go. We're going to have the first one of these. So let's. I get three points because equal or less. And then um, I'm in first place, so 
another three points, and then a point for neutral. And then I get to keep this because I closed it in. Yep. It didn't quite work out exactly how I had planned. That's, That's all right. the thing with the taking back is you can't do it all in one move. So. Right. So interesting, as I was saying about uh, deep point games. So it has taken, uh, it's a group of publisher friends, Matthias Naj, I know I'm, I can never pronounce his last name, from Frosted Games, a couple of guys from Eggert Spiele, and a couple of guys from Pegasus Spiele got together, and the five of them said, hey, let's start a new company. So they did, and this is, the I think, their first title for that. All right? Um, all right, so let's see. That's our, oh, let's go ahead and show those. That'll probably work better. That's our tiles again. So I think what we will do We'll go there, which blocks that space off. Um, go ahead and put a bush down, so one point for black, please. And redraw. And that's what we drew. So I can get two points for that. Yep. And then I can get this, which is going to be four and two because I am the only person in there. Yep. So you get six more. Two, three, four, five, six. And I take the tile as well. Yep. Okay. Well... Butterfly's still wild, so we'll go ahead and throw down Bat Squirrel! Bat Squirrel? Bat Squirrel. Not, not like Spider Pig. Similar, but not quite. Um, I'll go ahead and throw down one of my bushes here. The reason not there is nobody can place there now, so I'm trying to limit where Jess can place off of this, ideally. Still only one point for placing a bush, since that's a pine, but I'll take my one point and I'll like it. Okay. Oh, that's right. This should have scored, because it's closed off. It is. All right, yeah, good call. Thank you, Brianna, I appreciate it. All right, so here, uh, I'm the only one present in that, so as you can see, that'll be just six points, and I get the token, yeah. It was the whole point of doing that to begin with. All right. <laughs> And it's blocked off because no one can place there legally, so therefore, yeah, there you go. Yep. Take that now. Thank you. Three points. So she now has a score of six there versus two for the neutral. Hmm. 
All right. Well. I'm thinking that, thinking that one. And we'll go ahead and throw uh, a little fur action down over here, I think. Or no, we will not. Check that. Check that. I will throw not a shrubbery, but some turf. So one point for black, please. And draw. That'll be that one. Yep. Well, you know what? They can't all be winners. Yeah, I think so. So might as well get some scoring out of it, right? So I'm just going to move this out of the way and make it easier <laughs> for me. So go ahead and do that. So that obviously is going to score here in a moment. No, you still need to do more. Well, I know. I know. It's I... not closed off yet. Oh, damn, it's not. That oh. whole side's going to go. Oh, God. Go. I'm an idiot. I would not have left one tile to close it. No. What? <laughs> Want to take that back? Nope. I'm gonna go down there. There you go. So I will then place that there. One point and then one point. So two points two total points. for black. There okay. we go. Done. Hey Rocky, I'm sorry. I thought we advertised oh, it man. enough. Okay. See, she has nails. She she has no fear of going down and no, picking that up. No, that was my froggy fingers. Oh, okay. Um. Any alternate starting setups? I don't think so, Dave. But I'll be honest, I think this is going to have quite a bit of, you're not going to have to really worry about that because the tiles are going to dictate that for y'all. All right, you got five there. Um, hmm. And depending on how you draw, Dictates how often you change the wild, honestly. So you got three points for that? Oh, sorry. I only did two because I didn't see your other one. Yeah, I missed that one. One for that and then one and one for that. All right. Uh, oh, I forgot to draw previously. Oops. That's probably the hardest thing for me to remember in this game. That's what we drew. Okay. And an oak. One point for black, please. And draw. And that was our draw. Now that will score. Um, and I'm going to put this here for four points. Four. One, two, three, four. And then Jess will get the bigger number, which is six. And the neutral gets three, and I forgot about it. I got too preoccupied with other stuff. That's not ideal. All right. place that there. That's going to be three points for that, please. And hold on one second. 
uh, before I draw. Um, no, I'm good. I'm done. That's it. Five points. Oh man. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go. I will go there and I will place that for one point. Then I will go and spend three clouds to take another turn. Oh, well, I draw. That's what we drew. So now I will go ahead and... Take a second turn. Take a second turn. I'm going to play the one I just drew, actually, and go right there, which will close that area off. Um, and then we will go ahead and... Play a moment. Hmm. That there for two points for that. Then we're going to score this, which I'm the only one in that area over here. So that's going to be 10 points, and I get to take the tile as well. And now we draw again. And there we go. That's what we drew. OK. Two points. And draw. probably smarter to do it that way, I think. So, just strategy-wise, note these, right? I'm going to hit, well, hell, I'm going to play it. I could play it this way to match up the squirrel, but that gives Jess a free butterfly down here. We don't want to do that. So we're going to go that way. Butterfly is wild. Now it forces her, to, if she wants to be able to play off of it, to play a squirrel there. Yeah, as well. It, 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 fair point, yes. Um, so I will go ahead and I will throw that right there. That's going to be three points. Um, a moment. I'm now also looking at what tiles are, have already been played out there as well. So you know what? Yeah, done. Final answer. There we go. There. Hmm. That's the one we drew. Okay. If I place there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go there. Um, nothing else can be added there, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to go down. Mm, yeah. To Here? This one. Yeah. So one point for white. Gotcha. 
There we go. You done? Mm-hmm. Draw. Oh, thank you. So even if I play a tile here, I could place one here. I can't place one there. Yeah, that one's already done. It's going to score as it is. That sucks. That's. Yeah, well done, well done. Oh, so do I, because I, I can get that tile. And I figured you got to watch out for that 13. If you want that to score, there's a lot of time. Oh, no, we don't score at the end of the game automatically. Oh, that's don't true. Forget. Too. But I have a lot of places I can play. Oh, 100%. I am aware. I am fully aware. Um, and the more you take, the less I can place there. That is true. So you're leaving it open for me to go. All right, still all this stuff you can place up. You know you I'm know. not going to. <laughs> so, just pointing out, as you place those, that's what I did here. You're taking away somebody's ability to place things. You know what? You make a fair point, and I'm going to put the screws... Or will I? Do I put you to a choice? Oh, I know what I'm doing, no matter what you do. I have two placements that are perfect for me, and they have nothing to do with you, so... Butterfly is still wild. I'm surprised neither of us has changed that. It's points, though, that you're giving up when you do that, right? You don't want to yes. do it willy-nilly. Um, do you know me? When do I ever I, give uh, up? I am fully aware. If there's a mechanism to trade in points to do something, just never, ever does. Even if it's like, especially if it's like go first. Do I ever pay to go first? No. Nope, nope. Bird in the hand and all that. We'll go there for two points. You got two points. And done. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, it's so tempting because lots of points. I guess it is a salamander, isn't it? I was thinking chameleon, but no, it's totally a salamander. Yeah, it's a little, yeah. little gecko. He's so cute. Okay. Used to get the salamanders in the rivers underneath the rocks, turn them over. I mean. Yeah, this is as nasty as you want to be. I, I feel like this is now, a. Now, I'm going to stick with what I was going to do. So I was going to leave this to go ahead and just score it at the end, but I really want the tile. Because I feel like, right, don't the, the distribution points, is yeah. the eights and huts. So I am going to go there. Okay. Um, Place something here. Do I really want to? I'm already going to get that. I doubt you're going to super go for it. And even if you do, whatever, it makes that neutral. Eh. But placing gets it off your board it because does, you, but you might points. need it. Yeah. And I can't place a neutral. But yeah, I, oh, actually, I can't take this out of the game. Or you could change the wild if you wanted to. Um, let's see. Do I want to change the wild or do something? Um, or, eh. What do I want to change the wild to? Um, this is the problem, though. It changes it for you, too. I don't know that that's a good thing. Uh, da, 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 I'm just da, da, trying to will you to change it to the right thing. Yeah, no, I don't really have any needs, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, all right, well, then this area up here is going to score. So Jess has four points, two points, two points. She gets the whole kit and caboodle, which means 12, and she gets the tile as well. 
there's still a second. <gasps> oh, because they're tied. I didn't notice that. I did. That's, yeah. 12. So 12. There we go. Hmm. Um, and did I get my two points for placing? You did not. Thanks. There you go. Well, all right. Um, It'll be one point for yours truly. And a moment. Done. How many clouds are there, if you please? Not There's that we can yet. Two here, one, one there. there. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I should have recalled one to my board. That's what I should have. Three done. points. And a moment. And yeah, I'll go and spend three clouds. Pull that back. And draw. Hmm. That's what we drew. So I have eight tiles left, and I have eight pieces of wood left on my board that I want to get rid of. So keep that in mind. Four points. Gives you a point. And a cloud. And draw.
few that loses everything. It's not the new software yet, but oh. it's... Uh, Ew, that's so good. Just All camera right. wise. So if I go like that, and I actually place this for five points. There we go. You're now tied for first. How am I tied for first? Oh, shoot, I didn't see that one. My bad. I keep thinking this one's not part of that oh, area. Do you want to take it back? Nah, it's five points. It's worth it. Okay. Um, actually, but that will give me second. So yeah, I'll take this one back since I missed that. It's still five points. Yep. But that gives me second. I'll take second. Hmm. So I think we go with this one here. Butterfly to bird. I will go ahead and throw that there for one point, but it also closes off this area here. So that's going to be eight for me, four for Jess, and I can take the tile. Four and eight, three and five. And draw. <laughs> Did you get what you wanted? I forget. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Hmm. That's not super good though, because you still have that tree. I will say we did change some of the lights though. So maybe that's what you're seeing. So is brighter good? Is brighter gooder, Rocky? <laughs> hmm. I don't know that this is a good thing, but I'm going to spend all my extra points, which I don't usually do. So switch this to foxes. Squirrels. Squirrels. But they're red squirrels. This confused me because they're red. Um, and then that. And then that. No, oh, because I could get, yeah, but I still get the five points. It was still six points. Is there anything better I can do? Not really. So do the fun thing. Um, place that there. In place Grr. five points for that. And then I'm going to spend three to take another turn. Draw first. And go here and place that hurt. That. And I get you one point. Um, and that one gets me one point. Well, that hurt, but that'll go there. We're going to lock that down. Yeah. That, so was, I, that was, the, I was like, he still is the tree, so it's still yours, and I get second. Grr, that hurts. Uh, what are we talking about? Guys, as far as points, like, where did I miss possibly giving myself a point? That really hurt that she did that, by the way. Um, you, so you placed that. How many points oh, did you get yeah, for that so placement? Two points. Yeah. I think I may have forgotten to give myself a point for that, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, cool. Um, so do I want to lay that one down? Or do I want to lay that one down? You, you went, right? I did. Um... 
Mm. That one's that hurt a lot. Potentially beneficial to me. So I should. The fact that I only have one cloud left. That's what's gonna sink me. Why? I only have three. Um. Yeah. I guess I should do this there, and save this for there. Oof. Well. Oh yeah, because I get I the tile. I should change that. I want to get the tile. So I'm going to close this so that this, because we know it potentially could be big. So you get 13. Oh, and yeah, I'm not placing You're not anything. placing anything. You get six. I get six. 96. Um, and then I get the tile. Where did I put that? Right there. I'll let you guys figure out what it is you guys are talking about. Because I got the two points for this. Are you talking about for this here? That tile over there? That'd be two points if so, but... Or one point um, because the bush is bigger, but I don't know, so I'm not going to swap that. Um, man, that, that really hurt me. Uh... You changing the wild killed me. Sorry. I try. I talked you out of it the first time. And then you didn't. I was like, no, no. I just hope you choose the right thing, wanting you not to choose, not to change it. So that worked. But then you changed it, and that hurt a lot. Um. All right. So apparently, I shorted myself a point. So there we go. All right. Uh, I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do right now. I mean, I guess that. I'll do that there. Excellent. So... Three points. That's going to be zero, but I'm going to get this, which is going to be um, three points plus the tile. You probably want to do that differently, though, so that oh, you can yeah. place oh, something. Bad. There you go. There. So and there. You, you want to place, right? Yeah. So I'll place this, which will be two, three, four, five points all day for that. There you go, and the tile. And well, that was go. good, because I was thinking of going there, so. Um. Oh, apparently I didn't short myself. Okay, so I was right. Good. Uh, two points. Okay. That one. See? Not bad. We'll go there. And... It's not going to hurt you. I know. I'm just wait, debating whether or not... Oh, I'll, the other side. You know what? Honestly? Oh, crap. you got to get rid of those. We're going to place that right there. So yeah. that'll be... Well, but the problem with that is I'm shorting myself two points by doing it. Um... No, I'm not going to place that there. So that'll be a total of uh, three points for that. And then the tile scores I'll get first for six. And then that's it in the tile. So a total of nine points. One, two, three, four, five, and there. I don't have frog fingers. There we go. And final draw of the game. Uh, what am I hoping? A, a bird or frog or turtle would be good. Here we go. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, that's why I moved the uh, the PTZ camera so you guys could kind of have a little bit more context for sizing and everything because everything's clear to us over here. But just to give you guys a little bit of a scope of the very of the board all the way around and everything. All right, so. Hey, I don't know if Clay's still there, but uh, time frame, I can't remember when this is actually getting released. I think it's Essen, I think, or what would be Essen, I think. Um, dang. So if you know you can't close something oh. off... I don't want to help you close it off. Oh, I'm okay with that. I do not like that idea. Um, By the way, you guys like the new graphics at the bottom? Need the to screen? get rid of those. Ew. <sighs> yeah. yeah. I doubt yours all fit together, so I'm just going to do that. Get rid of my stuff. Un point o. Oh, actually, can I take that back? I see something I can actually do without placing because I still have enough to place and get a tile. Mm-hmm. So you get, uh, Three points for yeah. that. There you go. And that's all. Yay, that felt better. All right. Now I gotta make sure I place these. Late November, early December. Okay. point. There you go. There is now two start tiles, but keep in mind that one's going to have to be a froggy. Yeah, that one touches. That one's there. Um, I think that's my best bet. Alright, we will go there. And we will place, actually, we'll place here. One. I think we go with this one first. I think so. So I'm going to place it there so that I can go ahead and bust that one out. Let me just move that out of the way. That'll be two points at least. There. Done. Taking my spots, man. Taking my spots. There's still a bird right there. I know, but it's not the two-pointer I was going to You're right. Get. It's one point. That's all that's left. So what that tells me she doesn't have a frog. Oh, actually all the frogs are out of the board are out on the board. And she doesn't have a squirrel. And nothing can go there but a wild, right? Correct. That's why I was like, wait, is that a, yep, that's a legal, yeah, so that, it has to be a wild that goes there. Whew. One point for you. And can't place it. You're right. So that gets tossed. That's the end of the game. So we go into final scoring. Yeah. So final scoring is clouds. 
Three for Jess, one for me. And then any other areas on the board still to score? Yes, technically, but nobody gets it. Doesn't matter. Nobody. Jess gets that for three. Nobody, 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 nobody. Flip them. And I'm looking at 16 points. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 109. Um, okay, so that was 17. 10, 17, yeah. So that's the difference right there. Just smoked me by 17. So there you go. So like I did, like I showed you guys here, I'll, I'll show you this again here before we uh, switch over. But uh, yeah, so here's the, the board in its final state 3D wise. So there we go. All right, cool. So. Um, Sorry about that red squirrel. Yeah, that hurt. That 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 definitely that definitely stung. No no doubt. Um, yeah. All right. So, what would you think? It was. What? It is a sponsor. Oh, it is sponsored. So but we're not yeah. going to say that. But it is. Um, let's see. So, how long did it take? Your teach was probably like 20 minutes, yeah. 15, 20 minutes. So right at an hour. Yeah, so right at an hour. And we really were belaboring some of the choices. You can yeah. go much faster. Totally, yeah. Um, in fact, I think in our first game, um, we can say this, it went much shorter. So clearly we started Oh, to hell, that's right. Things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I had one plant left on my board. Minus one. Go gotcha. back one. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. All right. That's why I wanted Subtract to get rid of the oak, because four points yes. on that one, right? You so, got that out there. There you go. Um, anyway, as you were saying, I yeah, apologize. That's all. Um, yeah. So there you go. Uh, apparently it's coming out in the fall slash winter, late October, early November. Uh, like I said, Capstone here in the States, and it's, I got to learn the name. It's Deep Print Games for overseas, over in Europe. I don't know outside of those locations who it would be. So there we go. We did, we did count cloud points, so we're good there. But there you go. That's ReNature. So big thanks to Clay and everybody over at Capstone for sponsoring the playthrough, as well as their support of Heavy Cardboard and uh, giving us this uh, advanced copy of this, the pre-production. I will say, I do, there, there's one subtle thing somebody had mentioned uh, in chat. So, the box, right? There's nothing plastic in this game. Even the bags that you store everything in are cloth bags. Even though you're not randomly drawing anything uh, during the game, all the bags are cloth as well. See, I think that's a kind of a pretty cool little touch, right? Because Renature, it's, it's, it's environmentally friendly. Yeah, so I thought that was, that was a pretty cool thing. So there we go. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll be back. Uh, what do we got tomorrow? Tinner's Trail? Yeah, tomorrow's Tinner's Trail. Saturday is... is uh, Girls' Stampede. Right, and then Sunday is... Uh, Sunday might change. It was supposed to be at the gates of Loyang. But I imagine you guys want me to do the unboxing of the High Frontier 4 stuff. High Frontier for all? Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's probably going to be Sunday. Brand new spiffy. Yeah. So there you go. So that's what we got coming up this week. I'm looking forward to it. New podcast drop. Check that out over on heavycardboard.com. Other than that, I'm Edward. I'm Jess. We'll see you guys later on this week. And by this week, I mean tomorrow. <laughs> and by tomorrow, I mean... Well, tomorrow. <laughs> See you all then. All right. Take care, Bye. everybody. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. All that fun stuff Smash that you guys do. that bell. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you changing the uh, the wild. That, and you that, did that and, to me before. Yeah, and I shorted myself on the cloud. You need to keep two clouds to be able to manipulate the wild. And I did not. I got greedy. How'd that work out for you, Edward? Not so well.